if you're serious about the law of attraction, you know, you know what it is by now, you know that it's a concept where what you think about, you can bring about and you can use it to create the life that you really want to be living and you're serious about it, then this video is for you because I'm gonna share with you what you can do each day, my biggest top tips to help you go from being a law of attraction dabbler to becoming an absolute manifestation beast. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel or if you're brand new, welcome to our community. My name's Lucy and on this channel I share all kinds of things about personal development, spirituality and how to become the best version of you. So I'm making the assumption here that this is not the first ever Law of Attraction video you've ever watched on YouTube. Maybe you've watched hundreds of them. And if that's the case, brilliant, well done. You've attracted that into your life already. And it means that you already have some level of understanding that your thoughts create your reality, what you focus on creates your reality. And so the good news is you can um, intentionalize what you focus on and what you think about in order to get more of the outcomes that you want in your life. So what I have noticed in my manifestation journey is that through the periods of time where I just kind of, you know, I say that I believe in the law of attraction, but I really put it, you know, if I'm honest, I just kind of like neglect the actual practices. Then I noticed that, you know, my life can be quite stressful. I can have quite a few bad days where everything seems to be going wrong. But also on the flip side, the times in my life where I'm like, holy cow, what are these miracles that are just popping up absolutely everywhere? There's, there's something that I do different during those times. And I've been thinking about it upon reflection and I thought it'd be really useful to share in a video, what do I do during those times where it's just like, boom, 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 boom. All of these uh, manifestations just seem to be popping up before my very eyes. So the secret is that I, uh, during those times when I seem to be manifesting a lot with ease, I prioritize dedicating time to being very in my vision, in my daydreams, in my, I'm like having a best friendship with those thoughts and, 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 and I'm visiting my vision on a, on a regular basis. Okay. So, um, to give you an example, the last few days I have been probably for a good hour each day, totally obsessed with and immersed in my vision of the future. Like I've been searching online for loads of different uh, villas where we're gonna, that we're gonna buy and that we're gonna move to uh, in Spain. Um, I've been just like thinking about and visualizing and looking at and imagining uh, the growth that I'm going to be having in my business, the growth of numbers that are going to be appearing in my bank account, the growth of the number of subscribers to my YouTube channel and my TikTok and all of these good things. And yeah, so like I have dedicated a good solid chunk of my time, of my energy and of my vibration towards just, mm, just enjoying them and just being excited about them and looking forward to them. Okay, and that's really, really important. You could be spending an hour thinking about those things that you want, but if you're thinking about them like, I really need them and I'm really desperate for them and what if it doesn't happen and what if I can't do it and I hate my life so much right now and I hate myself so much right now, then that's not the right vibration, right? So, you know, be, be, be happy, be carefree, be a, be a giddy like a child, um, be in a dream world, uh, schedule it if you need to, wake up an hour earlier. If you have a morning routine where you do exercise and you do yoga and you do affirmations and you do all that stuff, great. Add an additional 30 to 60 minutes to your day where you can just um, guilt-free um, visit your vision and 
it's made such a huge difference. Like this week, I cannot even put into words, I can't wait to share with you the quantum leaps that I have experienced. How many of you feel like growth sort of happens like baby step, baby step, oh, I've started to see growth and this is good, this is exciting, but it's kind of like, okay, it's kind of going at this snail's pace. So, you know, maybe in like a few years or decades, I would have that life that I want. But time is no obstacle for the law of attraction. Once you're on that vibration and you're on it enough, enough, like it's your dominant vibration, not your indominant vibration. Um, like I said, quantum leaps, quantum leaps are possible. You, you've heard it, right? You've heard of countless manifestation success stories. I have a huge one that for some reason I just feel like I'm not going to share just yet because it's so brand new and I just want to stay grateful and respectful and humble about what's happened. So I'm sure in good time I'll be able to share with you these quantum leaps that I've experienced recently. But just know that I've experienced some freaking huge quantum leaps in my life and I'm like, what? So it can be that easy? So it doesn't necessarily have to take that long and it doesn't necessarily have to take all of that effort and work and time. So borrow my realization, please, and let it be a sign to you that if Lucy's just had this realization that you can totally have this realization too. Because I have been for 30 to 60 minutes every day, just like so thinking about and talking about to my loved ones and thinking about and talking about and thinking about and talking about all of these things that we are looking forward to. It means that for the rest of the day, like the other 23 hours of the day, or, you know, there's sleep involved as well, but like for the rest of the day when I'm consciously going about my day, the whole day is um, shaped by and framed with these dominant thoughts which are all about this exciting new chapter that could happen at any time, could happen in the next few months or the next few years, I'm not too bothered when, but it excites me and I'm in love with it and it just lights me up so much. So some of you watching this may be like, okay, cool, I've got a vision, I've got my dreams that I'm really excited about. And yeah, to be honest, like I think about them a bit here and there every now and again, but like the majority of the time I'm not really there in that vision. Um, then this could be a really nice next simple step for you. But some of you watching this might be like, I don't even know what I want. I don't even know if somebody had to ask me, what's your vision for the future? What's your goals right now? Um, what's the life that you're going to have in two years from now? Like, if I ask you that question and you don't have a crystal clear answer yet, that's your next step, okay? I invite you today, straight after this video, make it a priority because your life and your future and your big vision and your amazing life should be your priority, right? So, after this video... Uh, what I find helps is if you go into Pinterest and you go into Google and you just like search for words. Pinterest's great because if you search for, like I helped my mum with this yesterday, the day before yesterday. She wasn't totally clear on the kind of house that she wanted and the, the interior design that she wanted. So I was like, well, let's look up some ideas, right? I put in like modern architecture and modern interior design because I know she likes her modern styles, right? And so just with those words, Pinterest shows you a hundred different images. And from there, mum was able to then scroll through and, you know, in her mind, she was going, not that one. No, that's not quite me. That's not quite me. And then she was like, oh, I like that one. I said, great. I clicked on that one. And then what does Pinterest do? It's very clever. Once you click on an image and that's the main image that you're looking at, it then says more like this. And it's, it's, it has searched across all of its millions or billions of pictures and it already knows which ones are similar. So immediately it started to, to learn what our taste is, what we like. And then it's suggesting to us a bunch of similar images and then it helps us, it helped my mum to then get clearer to a next level. Oh yeah, out of these ones, yeah, I actually really like that and I like that. Then we click on those. 
and then more like this and more like this and more like this. And then before you know it, within the space of about five minutes, Pinterest knows exactly what your style is, what your vibe is, what your aesthetic is. Um, you know, the kind of images that please you and that are totally up your street. And next thing you know, you're scrolling through Pinterest and every image is, you know, it makes you feel so, so good. And you would love to live in that house or have that style of hair or handbag or body or cars or whatever it is that you are searching for on Pinterest, right? So that would be a great exercise. I would recommend anyone does, even if you are clear on your vision, get Pinterest involved, get Google Images involved, so that it's not just an image here, which can sometimes be a bit blurry. It's like crystal clear images the, that when you're looking at them, strengthen your mind's eye, strengthens your mind's vision, reminds you that stuff like that already exists and you can picture yourself there in the photograph experiencing it. And then it becomes, it's like, so today, what have I done? I've actually been at home because it's second lockdown here in the UK. So there's the walls of my house, there's the objects in my house, there's the, the stuff that that's like part of the set of images that my brain has captured today. Then also on my phone, there's the images I've seen on my phone. I've actually done very little scrolling through social media today. So other people's energies and other people's lives have not dominated my vibration today. But I did also spend a good hour this morning uh, looking at all of these images, searching for these villas, uh, you know, picturing and, and creating. I created for myself uh, a screenshot of my YouTube um, like page and I edited the number of subscribers that I had to 222,000 and I was looking at it and listening to my favorite music. So my brain today has seen more that my subscribers are at 222,000 than what they currently are now. I don't even know what they currently are now because my brain has been more focused and has taken in that vision of 222,000 subscribers more than whatever number might happen to be there right now. And equally, like I said, I've seen my home here, but I've also spent possibly even more time focused on the images in my vision. Okay, so I know we're all busy people and we've all got a bazillion things to do and a bazillion distractions, but I genuinely believe anyone can use what I've shared in this video to make their vision of their life, their dominant vibration, not their indominant vibration. I don't know if indominant's a word, but it should be, and you know what I mean. So if you found this a breakthrough moment, if you found this interesting, if you found this potentially even game-changing, then, or if you just liked watching it, give me a thumbs up so that I know, so that I know that this is the kind of video that is beneficial to you. It's the kind of video that hit me in inspiration and it poured out of my mouth and I always know those are the best messages for me to share. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit my subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss one of my videos and I will see you all very, very soon. Love you and love yourself.